Hello and welcome to the West tonight. With the summer holidays coming up, police are desperate to stop youngsters playing on the tracks. That story coming up soon. Hello, you're watching The West tonight. The headlines this evening. Hello, good evening. There are warnings tonight that more winter chaos is on the way with heavy snow already falling in parts of our region. Yeah, and there seems to be no end to all this economic gloom. No, there doesn't seem to be at all, Louisa, and that's in spite of these government rescue packages designed to kickstart the economy. Well, from what we know, Steve, it was just an awful sequence of events, starting with the icy road. Jan, I expect this hasn't gone down too well. It certainly hasn't, Lucy. The people I've been speaking to are very angry about this and say it's unfair, especially given the economic crisis that we're going through. Next tonight, detectives in Western Supermare have begun a murder inquiry. Yeah, and what's the latest? Well, Louisa, Violet Street is still cordoned off this lunchtime. And in fact, police are carrying out a forensic search of part of the street just behind me. They have restrictions, you don't, why? We do have restrictions. They're only voluntary restrictions, they're not ones imposed by the government. I have to say, we take the control of noise very seriously indeed. In the final report of Poles Apart, I've been looking at how we in the West have had to adapt to accommodate the new immigrants. A few minutes ago, he said goodbye to his girlfriend, Anya, and her daughter, Patricia. No, I mm think -hmm. what I left Of course I'm thinking about what I left behind. To buy or not to buy? That is the question that's been bugging me lately. I'm talking about buying my first home. And that's a big problem for Grade 1 listed buildings like this one. Because of its status, the vicar was told he had to replace the flashing with lead, meaning it's an open invitation for the thieves to come back. Central tonight's Jan and Osco is at Rolls-Royce in Derby. So Jan, what more can you tell us? Well, Steve, the mood here is one of fear and uncertainty among the 12,500 people employed by Rolls-Royce in Derby. The judge said that Franklin should not have been riding along the pavement, certainly not, with a three-year-old sitting on the petrol tank. He had no insurance, no MOT, not even a full driving licence. Yes, the story is made even more amazing by the fact that Maria had bought it with the last few pounds in her purse. Now, he won the Grand Prix at just 15 years old, and he rides motorbikes at speeds of up to 140 miles an hour. So I've seen the smart water on my shoes, on my hands and so on. Yeah. But what I want to know is, with this hood, how much they got on my face? Can you show me? Yeah, take a look. Okay. Oh, my word. <laughs> that is terrible. So clearly both cities have their advantages. Here in Nottingham, I can get a much bigger and better house for my money. But Bristol definitely has the edge when it comes to viewing buying a house as an investment. This is the first of several operations that Edward will have to have to reconstruct his nose and his lips. But hopefully at the end of them all, he'll get his wish and he'll look like his twin brother again. So on tam będzie robić? Pracował. Aha. I jak długo, wiesz, jak długo on tam będzie? Długo. Bardzo długo. Oh. Adam's journey to the UK is a well-trodden path as thousands of Poles have headed west to improve their lives. Not only can hovercrafts travel over mud, they can also travel in very shallow water, something that normal rescue boats can't do. Later on this evening, there'll be Amy Winehouse. We are told that she will definitely be here. And then headlining is going to be the hip-hop artist Jay-Z. We've managed to get a version that's all fixed, and I'm going to go and give it to them now. George and Dorothy got a little surprise for you. Happy anniversary from everybody at Central tonight. Oh, look at yeah, that. Yeah, he's done it. Well done. Oh, that's wonderful. So, Jan, what's the hall being made of? Well, Ellie, they're materials that I think the three little pigs would have been very proud of. Let me just show you what I mean. Here we've got the original hall, built out of wood in 1939, so it's a little bit drafty these days. But what they're doing is they're putting walls of straw bales on the outside. When I was asked to come and take part in an experiment at Alton Towers, I jumped at the chance. I thought, fantastic, because I absolutely love fast rides. The only thing is, I didn't realise quite how scientific it was going to be. 
Now this is my absolute favourite. It's called a Peel P50 and it's in the Guinness Book of Records as being the smallest car in the world. And this is how you reverse it. Right, what? Well, just and stick my hand in there. That's the one. Oh. And oh, you it's come a bit over gritty, here. actually, I have to and say. Put it in there. Right, just excuse me a minute. Let me just do this. Squidge it in there. Fantastic. Well, while I'm getting on with this, I'll just let you know that apparently it should be ready by Christmas. And if it is ready, this haul, then they're planning a massive New Year party to celebrate. Thanks very much there, Bob. Wearing his fleece in I July, know, what's that all about? Fingers crossed, it looks like it's getting warmer. Well, that's all from us. I'll be back with our late bulletin after news at 10. But the ITV News is next from us. Bye-bye.